guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a good old foundation wear test. I picked up the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Hydrating Foundation Balm. So if you want to take this journey with me, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Yesterday, I was in Ulta and I saw that my Ulta actually had the brand new KVD Beauty foundation balm in store. Now, this was a foundation that I definitely took a double take at, but it wasn't one that I intended on reviewing until I saw it in the store and I was like, I was kind of curious about that. So I ended up picking it up and the more I looked into it, the more excited I got. So you can pick this up right now at Ulta, Sephora, and of course the KVD Vegan Beauty website. This guy is going to cost you $38. So let's talk about the product first and what this is. So this is a buildable full coverage hydrating foundation balm. It's supposed to have a lightweight long wear formula and a fresh matte finish. So my takeaways it's it's full coverage and it's matte and I'm really excited about this because I didn't wear this yesterday but after I took my makeup off I kind of put this on my face and it looked pretty full coverage and matte but it still felt pretty hydrating so I'm excited to see how it wears the key ingredients that they were talking about apple extract which is supposed to nourish the skin that's why it's called the good apple foundation balm and sodium hyaluronate to hydrate the skin so it's supposed to still be hydrating we'll see if you don't know my skin type I do have more normal to dry skin leaning more dry in the winter I would say right now I'm not extremely dry but I'm worse on the normal side right now there are 40 shades in this foundation line and what's really neat is they have 10 shades in each category from light medium dark deep I picked up the shade light 15 it's a bit light for me but it was hard to pick in the store I think because it was in black packaging and there's only this little window all of the shades look really deep for me I think I should have picked up medium 27 because that's for light to medium skin with neutral undertones but it looks so dark in the pan but I think that's probably my correct shade so I picked this one up because it it still looked dark in the pan but I was like there's no way that this light's gonna be too dark for me and it is a bit light for me but that's fine it's always hard now to pick up shades in store but it's fine we'll make it work <laughs> on the back this is made in the USA 12 month shelf life and of course it is vegan and cruelty free now when I first opened this up let's talk about the packaging really quickly so first of all it comes in this box with a little apple picture in this window here is where the foundation would lie and I think the shadows make the color to look really dark so just be aware if you're picking up in person now the packaging itself when I first put it out I was like this looks so cheap like this is essence <laughs> type packaging which their products are only like five dollars and I was like what is KVD Beauty doing? Now I know after researching the packaging is intentional. This is 100% recyclable as KVD Beauty has been doing. I just didn't process that. So it's all plastic. There's no metal hinge. There's no mirror. There's no magnet. So when you're done with this you can literally just recycle it which I think is very very cool. So I understand now. You guys know I like clear acrylic packaging. I think it looks really nice so I did like it but for $38 I was like it's still cheap packaging because I also like the Lux packaging but really neat I like it I wish the price was a little bit down because you can't say that the packaging is what is driving the price up you know but anyways uh, very neat I like that it's 100% recyclable. Now, if you watch the video on Sephora, it looked really cool because the makeup artist, she had tattoos all on her arm and these covered her tattoos. So we'll see. I, it's pretty full coverage from what I tried, but let's just get into it. So my skin, I've prepped it about five to 10 minutes ago with the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. If you have dry skin, this is a godsend. It leaves your skin feeling so hydrated for makeup. And I do want to use a primer today that I'm familiar with. So I'm gonna use my Smashbox Primerizer. Again, this is something very hydrating since this is a matte finish. I do wanna make sure my skin is properly prepped with some nice hydration. Now on the video, they said you could apply this with whatever you would like, fingers, brush, sponge. I'm a sponge girl and that's what I used to apply yesterday and I really liked it. So 
I'm gonna get in there and I found that a little went a long way with this product I just did a couple dips with my sponge and look how much of my face it's covering and you see how easily it's spreading and you can see it's covering up my blemishes you can still see with that one layer that my skin is underneath but I don't know it's got a pretty high coverage like look at that if you just use a padding motion and you don't push it around you'll get full full coverage now this shade in particular if you're trying to find your shade and you're around my skin tone honestly the light family does work this particular shade has kind of like a warm golden undertone and i prefer a more neutral undertone on myself but it's a decent match. It's a bit light on me. If I get any sort of sun, this shade will no longer work for me. But I don't mind it. I can definitely make it work with some bronzer. So I wouldn't say I took about three dips in. One for this side of the face, one for this side of the face, and one for this side of the face, my forehead. And it spreads out so easily. You guys, I prefer to use a sponge. I'm excited to use a sponge with a foundation. So that's why I'm only using a sponge for application today. And it works beautifully with a sponge. So let's take a closer look. This is one layer. It looks so good. Like I am so impressed. I tried foundation yesterday that I wasn't too crazy about. So this is refreshing to really enjoy the look of this. Honestly, this will work really well as a corrector. My under eyes because the of the golden undertone. It's sitting a little bit on top of the nose. As you can see, there is texture there, but it's not bad. I don't like to judge too soon based on initial application because a lot of times you'll find with wear, as your oils come through, it'll kind of make the skin look a little bit more natural and kind of smooth everything out. And because I'm in front of a light, you can see it still does have a natural finish. Like you can see, it's not completely matte, but it is pretty flat. Now what the makeup artist suggested, oh, I accidentally just tucked my finger in the foundation. What the makeup artist suggested, if you have any areas that need a little bit more coverage, just go in with your fingers, kind of press it into those areas. Though I will say this foundation has provided me with pretty full coverage. So I don't feel the need to go in. I'm just going like over some acne scarring that's the deepness is popping through but barely like this is pretty full coverage and i think if you added another layer your skin would be just one flat plane of color full full coverage so i really love how this look it doesn't look drying on my skin either for being a matte foundation you know how matte foundations they emphasize dry patches i don't see any dry patches right now it isn't looking the best right here and on my nose. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'm filming an eyeshadow tutorial today so I can't do it on camera, but all the details of what I'm wearing will be down below. But before I do that, I did wanna say this foundation dries down and I feel like I don't want to powder it too much. I'm only going to really lightly powder and I'll film myself doing that so you can see. Yeah, no, it just feels so lightweight, but still gives such, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna put my makeup on now. Hold up, hold up, tell me what the hold up is I'm a little sport, I'll be the first to admit it I'm not used to laying low about my feelings Tell the world I'll write a book when I'm finished I should thank your mama, yeah Look at what she made Sweating you so badly, I'm in Okay, I'm in the middle of application. I just drank some water, a little bit dribbled, and you can see it completely wiped out the foundation. So that is something to keep in mind. It's not waterproof. Here is the final look. So I did powder a little bit in the areas that I normally powder, like right in the center of the forehead, underneath the eyes, and the smile lines. I didn't powder anywhere else, but I did go in with powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight from this Marc Jacobs trio, just because I use that to set my face so I don't have to add any additional powder. And here is how it's looking. The powder went on really nice. I mean, if you look closely, like definitely you can see the texture on my 
skin a little bit emphasized by the product but it's really nothing that I'm concerned about because I've had foundations that do much worse and for a matte foundation it doesn't necessarily look extremely drying I definitely think as time goes on that will go down so not anything I'm concerned about right now as far as the texture consistency of this I forgot to mention it is a balm so as soon as you touch it it almost melts in your hand and it's a very very wet and kind of creamy consistency so I did swatch the foundation when I first started doing my makeup and I want to show you it doesn't really oxidize either which is really nice so for the most part when you swatch the foundation that's the color that you're going to get anyways so I want to say I've been wearing the foundation for about 45 minutes now it's set down everything looks really good it does look a bit dry in the areas that I powdered so that is something to keep in mind about half of that is just the concealer's fault. I don't know, it's winter. Anyways, I'm gonna update you in a couple hours, but so far, I really like it. I think it's a really nice full coverage matte foundation. If it wears well, I'm gonna like it. So here we are, the hour check-in. All right, guys, it is time for a check-in. It's been about three hours since I've put on the foundation, and I just wanted to show you how we were looking, and I must say, I think I really, really am enjoying the foundation so far. So my mom and Jose both said that my skin looked absolutely amazing and flawless. Jose said it looked like I was wearing a filter and he's a tough critic. He'll tell me when it looks like I'm wearing makeup and he was really impressed by this foundation and I am as well. As you can see, it is a little bit crustier in this area, which it is for most foundations, but it doesn't look bad. It's because we're on on an HD camera right now looking really up close I'm looking into a magnified mirror that I'm like ooh, a little bit crusty but it really is true as I've been walking past mirrors my face just looks so perfected but it still looks like skin for it giving you the coverage that it gives you it still looks quite skin like so even though I might say oh it looks a little bit crusty that's what helps gives it that skin like look from what I can see in the mirrors and it's not a disgusting drying matte either like some matte foundations can be it's a definitely very healthy matte and you can see it is starting to kind of blend into my smile lines now at the three hour mark so it's not a foundation that sets like some foundations that I've dealt with that hardly go into the lines but overall I'm just loving how my skin is looking in everyday life so so far so good of course we're still only in the beginning of wear time so I will keep you updated all right you guys it is about 5 30 so I've been wearing the foundation for almost seven and a half hours and I want to do my final check-in because I want to get my workout in after this. But let me show you how the face is looking and all things considered, seven and a half hours, I think it looks pretty nice. I feel like the foundation has almost thinned and become even more lightweight. It did lose a little bit of coverage along the way, but regardless, my skin still looks even. It's holding on to the blush color really, really well and the highlight. And my oils have started to come through, but as somebody who doesn't have excessively oily skin, I'm not bothered by it. It's nothing a little bit of powder couldn't fix. So I don't I think this foundation is extremely long wearing. Like, I don't think that's a key standout of this foundation. Rather, just how amazing it looks. If you have oily skin, I don't know if this is it for you. I think you got to go with the more heavy duty matte foundations. You know, I'm talking... Fenty, NARS, they kill it if you have oily skin. But this is a great matte product for my fellow dry skin girls because correct me if I'm wrong, but this was formulated with the dry skin gal in mind to still be able to get that matte full coverage. And I really think that they succeeded. I have absolutely loved how my skin has looked all day. At no point of today did my skin feel heavy or cakey or feel like I was wearing a lot of makeup. It just is a amazing how much coverage you get, how supple and soft and smooth and even my skin looked and I didn't feel anything. So I had a bad foundation day yesterday with the new foundation I tried yesterday. This foundation, so good. I am really enjoying it. Now please keep in mind, I will admit today is my first day of really fully wearing it, but first impressions, it worked out very well for me. <laughs> so anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you got to try this baby out, let me know if you agree with me, if you feel different than me. If you have a different skin type, I would definitely appreciate your thoughts on this. Share it in the comments down below. I'll pin one that I feel like is helpful to others. And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I currently have applied to be a member of Sephora Squad, so if you would like to leave me a testimonial for that, it will be down in the description box. And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye guys, have a good one. It's just so good. It's so good.